good. Mm. 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 Yeah, just like that. All right, and I think we are live. So, hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another stream. And yes, we are going to be doing the Ruby Sanctum 25 Roic on Protection Warrior. Now, um, Protection Warrior is amazing. Protection Warrior is the best tank for this particular situation. Hola, invite please. Um, Protection Warrior is absolutely excellent when it comes to tanking Ruby Sanctum 25 Heroic. You're gonna be the third tank if you're, you know, doing the proper thing with it. You're gonna be the third tank, you're gonna have um, tricks of the trade, you don't have to worry that much about aggro, you can do a thunderclap, help out a little, you know. But it's all about that shockwave. You stack them adds up, you shockwave them, and even if they get out, you can go ahead and use a piercing howl if necessary, usually you're gonna have like something else slowing them but man it is awesome i tell you guys so there's a whole lot of people in the chat already we got krasim how you doing mate and ember was actually first but i i think ember doesn't care too much about it so he'll give it to you maybe maybe ember is like yeah i was first and if that's the case all good to both of you you're both winners <laughs> anyway um hope you guys are having a wonderful day you as well uh XP load 23. Hope you're having a wonderful day, mate. And a name I can't quite pronounce yet, but Kabob, how you doing? Hope you're having a wonderful... Just a wonderful night, mate. Honestly, guys. <sighs> I'm a little bit excited about this. I like doing this. It's very, very good. Like I said a few times already. It's very effective. It's fun. It feels like... You know, it's super rewarding because... You get it right, and that's it. You can clearly see what you're doing right. You can clearly see the rate damage go up. You don't have to worry. Uh, you don't have to worry too much about. Yeah, you know your own performance really. <laughs> you just shockwave. You maybe hit him with a piercing howl right here. Um, the most important thing to do is honestly just get this, uh, get this vigilance on the right target. If you want to perfectionize it, you're going to change your uh, Vigilance target every now and then. Some waves you're going to want it on the Boomkin, other waves you're going to want it on the Demonology Warlock. Yes. When they have their demon form up, it's insane. They pop it, they pop that uh, fire thingy around them, the Immolation Aura, they start spamming Seed of Corruptions, they will die. They need either a Hand of Protection, or just a really well handled aggro system and of course they can take one hit they are a warlock but they don't want to take two hits so um, yeah if you can taunt it off him real quick that's very good art forever how are you doing mate hope you're having a wonderful day and rise official and uh, yeah let's see here it's red as kaloyan okay so i'm starting to to see some stuff here yeah you know, like, the letters are turning into other letters. It's like a movie. Yes. Oh my. Rive is Yuna. Crazy, man. Talk about an OG. Okay, it, there's only one Rive is Yuna that I know. And that guy is a legend, man. He taught me how to protection Paladin. All the way back in 2010. Obviously, he didn't teach me how to protection Warrior. Or I wouldn't be having aggro issues. But if that's you, man. Brother, damn. How are you doing? And uh, what's the time? It is 10 after midnight. Ooh. Go ahead and stun it. <laughs> Protection warrior. <laughs> I regret life's decisions. It's not good. <laughs> it sucks. Oh. It's fine. We can stun it. We don't have to worry about the aggro if it's stunned. Alright. 2015? No, no, no. Like, that was way before that, right? Molten Wow? Did it really take me that long to become even decent at the game? 
I got my timelines all messed up, man. Is Ruby Sanctum hard compared to Ice Count Citadel? Ruby, Ruby Sanctum is... Yeah, it's all about every person, you know. If one person makes that mistake, it's, it's very similar to the Lich King in that way. You need everyone to do their job. If one person is doing it wrong, then it's not gonna be good. Um, if you get, like, a single soul combustion, uh, soul consumption, or um, a fiery combustion in the raid and he's not moving, that's a wipe. On, on Heroic, that is 100% a wipe. So you need everyone to pull their weight and, yeah. You need to manage a lot of things. You need to manage the health inside, outside. You can't have corporeality, you know, go out of balance. Um, you need to split up your group very efficiently on Heroic so that you actually keep that balance in, in check, you know. Um, so yeah, it's definitely harder than ICC. And FOF says finally getting the stream in YouTube recommended vi videos. Very good, very good. Yeah, I've been hearing the same from a few people, so that's good. XP says, I think I refound my love for WoW to your channel and Warmain and his community. Wow, thanks man. Good to hear that. Just started to play WoW again and... Oh no, right, that was in Molten with Noor. Yeah, brother, all the way back, man. I was jealous of you having more aggro than me. I wanted to beat you. That's how you taught me. You taught me by just like, you know, not giving me that aggro. And by being... Yeah. By being a little bit of a big brother, you know what I'm saying? Do you play retail, says Marco? Nah, I don't play retail, just warming. Rai says, four years ago it had loads of protection warrior tankings in ICC. Why are they not good for ICC now? They, they work, alright? You can make it work. It's not like the end of the world, you can tank LOD. Shizel solo tanked, Lich King 25 heroic on protection warrior back in the day when the Lich King damage was much higher. So warrior tank can work, of course. You can make everything work. You can go solo healer and have 10 shadow priests. <laughs> it's just not the most efficient thing to use a protection warrior. If you enjoy playing it, that's fine, keep on playing it. But you gotta understand that when you look at the perfect rating composition, there's not a spot for the protection warrior there. Unless you're talking about Ruby Sanctum 25 Heroic. Ergo, me being here. Because as the third tank, I don't think you can get anything better. Maybe Unholy Death Knight. That way you could squeeze in an additional range DPS. But Shield Block is just such a, such a sick defensive here. Because, you know, after the Shockwave, you're still gonna have aggro on them. So you're gonna have to tank them. But Shield Block maximizes your block uh, rating. And it will actually make you completely immune to those things, granted that you keep them in front of you. So, it's very strong, you guys will see. It's a really late raid, good luck boys, warriors are good. Yeah, yeah, of course they're good. Like, that, that's what I'm saying, they're just not the best. They can work. But, like, utility-wise, compare them to a protection paladin, and you're gonna come up short. Um, straight up tanking wise, compare them to like a Feral or a Death Knight, you're gonna come up short. So you know. Now I do think that there are a few utilities that protection warriors in War Main don't utilize all too often. Intervene being one of them. Um, this actually lowers the aggro, right? So Intervene will lower 10% of, of someone's total threat in like a snap, just like that. Hand of Salvation takes. Now, first of all, that can be a difference maker in some situations if you need to act quickly. But if you look at its cooldown, it's a 30 second cooldown. So you can use this four times in the time that you can use one hand of sacrifice. Or one, of hands, one hand of salvation, rather. Making this better. Now, we're gonna take a look at the holy tree here, because I just thought of something. Increases the effectiveness of Hand of Salvation by 100%. That talent is fucking crazy. Wow. That's one crazy talent. So. Someone asked me, why did I take Improved Spell Reflect? Well, 
and blast attacks can miss. If you have this, you can actually, you know, like, have a chance to get that blast attack miss. I know it sounds ridiculous, but it is true. I have a uh, add-ons video, Petro Civic, you can take a look for it on my channel. Um, yeah, I'll just leave it at that, because you can also find them in the Discord. Um, they're zipped up, you can go ahead, take them, extract them, install them, all good. Ah yeah, well. Anyway. <laughs> this is what I hear in Discord. Alright, Trix and MD on the DK, right? And then, like, this other guy takes the second one. No, this is what I heard. Trix MD on best DK. And then, Abby, you take the last one. Feels so bad being a protection warrior. Oh. Okay. Oh no. Okay, Boxer's got it. Boxer's got it. Oh. Nah, yeah, that wasn't actually good. That's a percentage. Uh, this is gonna be a little tricky right here. <gasps> ah, now I'm down to ads. They are like Boxster. You just, you just take the other one. Just let Abby take care of the ads. So. We've got an uh, Afrika. Ah, uh, you want to kite these ads? Cause like I'm not doing significant damage to them. This is kind of pointless. No, oh, wait. Where are they? I don't see them. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, like, I had to troll the guy, like, running straight into those ads, I had to get back at him a little bit. They are cleaving, I gotta be a little careful. I think we can just pull them under the other boss, and uh, we'll be fine. So, yeah. We'll get Satan back up, we'll give him a quick rebuff, and we'll uh, continue. Let's see that. Hey, Danny, how are you doing? And Hassan, Aida! I the passe, let's go. Okay, there we go. Saviana, you're about to get thundered. I need to get that shockwave out of the group though. Can't get my melee uh, be hit by that. Alright. That's fine. Rai says also back in the days when I raided Endgame in Ruby Sanctum 25 Heroic. Our third tank was always preferred to be a blast that night. So many things have changed over the years, I really need to start playing again. Why would you specifically take a blood knight? Or a uh, blood that night? I'm not like saying it can't work, but I would like to know the, the reasoning for it. Just, you know, just to see your train of thought back then. Oh, we're pulling ads. Mobility! I didn't get it off. Where's best DK? Mobility! Let's go! Mobility! <laughs> yes! Oh, there goes the aggro. <laughs> Man, protection warrior, it's such an emotional roller coaster. You think you're doing right, but then boom. To get aggro over the ads? Um. Probably for the death and decay. Oh, did they all spawn out of the same thing back then? Was that the case? Because I don't remember much of it. I just remember me putting a false trap, you know, the freezing arrow on top of the meteor. <laughs> oh, I feel like such a troll tonight. How does a protection wire off tank? Aren't you a little bit rage starved? Nah, you'll see, it's not that big of an issue. Um... Oh no. Um, once I'll be able to hit Alien basically 
I'm going to be picking up a little bit more uh, damage items. I'll get uh, SDS, DBW. I'm going to change my uh, my bow. What's up with his aggro, though? Someone else died. He might have gotten cleaved. Let me take a look. Yeah, cleaved. Okay. So yeah, if they all spawned on one spot, it makes good sense, right? Um, I'd still probably want to work in at least the Shadow Fury. Uh, the stun is really good. Once you get them in position, just, you know, you can stun them. You remember me for my Protection Warrior and Molten when I was... It was the same Draenei Protection Warrior. Hmm. I don't remember that, but yeah. Simon says, Abi, you noob, don't ignore me. We won't be friends again. Were we ever friends to begin with, Simon? Really, like... It's been tumultuous at best. Oh, it's my time to shine. <laughs> I'm going to be using my fear immunity. Ah, oh, let's do it. You're fucked. <sighs> Nimlot killed intensity, it wasn't my fault. <laughs> oh my god, this is... Oh my god. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to worry about this, because this is not good. Look at that. Oh, I gotta click buttons now. Now, the good thing is, if you get your first Berserker's Rage right, then the rest of them will be uh, timed exactly when it comes off cooldown. Just like that. We got Razari coming up. Hmm. Let's take a look at the deeps. Oh, wow. Alright, once we get to 5 Cleave Armors, we're basically going to be fighting this guy naked. Uh, we'll be popping major cooldowns at that point. Oh my god! Ah, ah, ah. We okay, we got this. Ah, protection wire. Are you here for the for what items? I'm not here for any items really. I could use the DKP. We spend a lot of DKP on the DK, and we're gonna be spending a lot of DKP on the DK. We need to buy. Two SDS Heroics, one for my Enhancement Shaman, one for my Death Knight. That's potentially like at least 4000 DKP and then I would be broke. <sighs> Man, get a Rapier Transmoke on your Blood Venom Blade. Honestly, I think I have one on my, uh, on my Rogue, um, the Blazing Rapier. I wanted to use that at one point on my rogue. Get a pirate set, you know? But the attacks that a night elf does, it doesn't really resemble uh, like fencing at all, so the rapier would just look kind of weird on it. Anyway. Let's go ahead and make ourselves even more squishy. There we go. That's fine. So you'll be tanking inside, right? <laughs> sure. I'll do that. No. Not enough blocks. I should have honestly just already popped the uh, shield block. When I went down to like 20%. Because usually what you want to do is stay in health so that you can eat two hits, right? You want to be able to take two hits. And once you go below... Uh, once you go uh, below two shots territory, that's when you really need to start panicking, worry about a lay of hands, a hand of sacrifice. I should have done like at least something, you know, maybe a blood rage, get that absorb up, and rage regeneration. Anything really. <laughs> okay, so. The first person who's gonna go crazy on those ads is probably Satanology. 
128G. Damn boy, you broke. Yes. It's a hard knock life. What can I say? Drink some mana? Uh, sure. Why do you say pot warrior? Why do you say that pot warriors are bad? <laughs> Just watch the stream. It's fine. You'll see. <laughs> it has advantages, which we're going to be abusing in this fight. We are here for this fight. We're not here for that fight. We're not here for that fight. We're not here for that fight. But it's time to focus up. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So. First thing you want to do. Get the Sunders up. After the Sunder, we get the Demoralizing up. We need to get Manage Shout up. Hopefully, maybe. And save up some of that Rage. You cannot spam your Rage. You don't have enough Rage for it, just like FOF said. But. Here is where play really comes in. Yeah, this is where like, you, you start to play your role. You get the tricks, you're gonna be getting a lot of health. Uh, a lot of health with the threat here. And this is not the best stack I've seen. But we got that uh, shockwave on top of them, it's all good. I forgot one thing, I'll show you guys in the next wave. Alright. Get some rage back up. Just like four auto attacks, so not rage really. Alright, so that thing spawns. Go ahead and demoralizing roar or demoralizing shout, sunder this. Now, when they're all nicely stacked, do that. Just that one fucker who didn't get stunned is right there. Alright, perfection. Commanding shout back up. They're in sight. Go ahead and use the moralizing shout there first. Aggro seems fine, now we can DPS. Stay at its uh, hind leg, don't get parried. Talvik is going to the wall right there. Oh my god. Go to the pet! You see? Alright, yeah, she took too long to move out there. She should have just moved out. Um, ooh, lots of drama in the chat after that. <laughs> okay. Um, Jorsi van den Berg, or Jordi, thank you for uh, subscribing, man. Appreciate it. Oh, that's a lot of yelling in the Discord right now. That rogue is getting chewed out, guys. Oof. Um, Alright, so the thing that happened was Talvik should have ran out. I was about to say, like, all right, here, Talvik's moving out. We're gonna get a nice little hand of freedom. And now she's coming back in. Cutters are about to start. Bada bing, bada boom. But no. There's the mistake. Every single person has to be focusing. A single mistake, it's a wipe on heroic. That's why it's hard. It's not hard because it's hard. It's hard because every person is on full tilt. Well, you, every person needs to be on full tilt. Is this fight harder than Lich King? No, no, it's not harder. I just explained, like, that's the only reason that I can think of why it's hard, because it's not technically hard, right? Um, a lot of it is in the group setup. If you have the right group setup, if you got your tricks, if you got your MDs, you're helping yourself out a lot. Um... <laughs> so, yeah. Ruby Sanctum is actually actually easier now. Guess who is coming back to WoW? <laughs> well, we kind of do make it look easy as well. Because like I was just saying, the group setup is perfect. We've put a lot of thought into that. Um, not only we, the people before us. That includes you, guys. You've put a lot of thought into this. And upon all of those years of experience, this is what we designed. <laughs> so, you know. This fight is super easy, it just needs coordination, says Danny. Tech? Yeah, basically, yeah. So, Hal's here. Hey, Abby. Nice protection warriors. My favorite tanking spec. Go, go. Good luck and have fun. Thanks, man. 
I'm always having fun on this uh, protection warrior. Even though I really don't like it, I'm always having fun on it. You can't not have fun. You got three charges. You're doing something wrong if you're not having fun with three charges, right? <laughs> Okay, so. Yeah. We're all ready. I hope I can get the stack just a little bit uh, more tight. Oh. Okay. Oh, we got the town car. Let's go. Alright, demoralizing shout. Of course, Paladin has Vindiction, but this is a bit more, a bit more reliable. Vindiction can fall off at the wrong moment. All right, Meteor, go ahead and save your energy up, your rage rather. Let's get a end up. Why not? Okay, so Inferno is going to him. Get that demoralizing shout on the Inferno as well. I didn't get it, but um, I gotta be a bit closer next time. Take that Ember, Shockwave him. And it's gonna go with the Magic Shadow. Alright, stay at its hind leg. I just did it! I have applied it, sir. I will stop on the boss side here. Now this time I really want to get this demoralizing shout up there. I think I just missed it. It does have spell hit rating. Uh, you don't always hit your, uh, your shouts. Alright. Shockwave. Get that last add. And I'll just shield block. And... Yeah, they're not even attacking me. Alright. They are inside. Go ahead, demoralizing shout. Um, itchy nose, itchy nose. I'm sorry. Let's see. Next Twilight Cutter. You see an orb coming in for you. One orb on your left shoulder, one orb on your right shoulder. Start moving. Uh, let's go ahead and commanding shout once, once more. Alright, so that was a better consumption, I didn't even see it, that's how it should be. Knight goes out, gets dispelled, Hand of Freedom, keeps moving. Kamil Kozok, thank you so much for subscribing, man, appreciate it. Alright, gonna start moving here. Well, you can definitely get a little bit more damage out of the spec than I'm currently getting right now. Nice beats, Knight of Boots, Hand of Freedom, and once again, she's back. Beautiful execution. Alright, we're gonna push this. Alright. Alright, we're outside. Demoralizing shout. Now, I'm gonna do this little thingy right here. I'm not sure if my officers will appreciate it. Um, actually, we really shouldn't. Uh, just get the fuck over here. Uh, Ratwen, El Hafi, thank you for the subscription, man. Appreciate it. Alright. Save up some of that rage again. Go ahead, get the demoralizing shout up on that boy. It helps the, the, the main tank here. Alright, get them together. Big shockwave. Get that last ember. Now watch my block. Block, 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 block. Can't touch this. I literally don't have to touch anything because they're killing themselves on damage shield. It's perfect. There is nothing better than a protection warrior in this specific situation. In my opinion. <laughs> this is just so perfect. Like you play it, it just feels perfect. I can't, I don't know. Alright, Demoralizing Shout once again. Alright, 
not rage. Now, shield block is back up at the exact moment that you need it. I'm telling you guys, it, it's beautiful. If you ever want to play Protection Warrior, this is your aspiration. This is what you should be wanting to do, really. <laughs> Alright, Corporeality is back to normal. Oh, that's very far away. We're gonna go Rambo style. I missed. What? Did I miss again? Oh, I just... I just failed. Alright, Shockwave. Uh, shield block. That unholy DK did go quite ham here. Let's get the... Uh, Go get it dispelled quickly. Come, 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 dispel. Oh shit, pop a CD here. Last stand will give you some health. Okay, right, hold on. Alright, shockwave. We got shield block up soon. We're, sh we're just gonna shield wall this for now. Shield block it. Alright, we're back to immortality, don't worry about it. Oh shit, that thing. I really should have intervened that mage. I could have kept him alive. There's so much more that I can learn about this class though. Alright. Oof. A little bit intense at the end there, but we got it. For the alliance, yes. We're back to 100 viewers, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Yes, YouTube has been sending out some notifications, and I'm glad that we're back on track, really. So I hope you guys have all, uh, you know, enjoyed some Ruby Sanctum. We can go for another one, because my guild is about to do, like, a whole bunch of them, right? This is just the first run. We're gonna have a second run, a third run, probably a fourth run, but I'm... Yeah, I'm just gonna do one more. And then we'll see what we do. Hey, Ali, how are you doing? Hope you're having a wonderful day, mate. Chaos the second says, as long as Ruby Sanctum exists, Protection Warriors will as well. Yes. But only on Heroic. Why didn't you use Cleave? Because I'm a really bad Protection Warrior. You can definitely do a lot more with the class than I'm currently doing with it. Um, this is just the sheer basics that you see. I'm not abusing my vigilance i'm not uh, i didn't i didn't piercing hell a single time there i could have helped the unholy dk a lot by having those ads slowed um i could have saved the mage's life with an intervene i really could have it would have transferred the hit on onto me he wouldn't have died uh there's probably so many more things that i didn't do that you could have easily done to make the class seem even stronger i'm sure you can't use your aoe taunt you're gonna get the, the other raid guild there, but yeah. Go with Death Knight. Yeah, what do you guys want to see for Ruby Sanctum? I'll ask the officers, no promises. But um, yeah, GTS for 5 DKP. It is the first run, people have a lot of mains. Let's see. Anyway, this feels like a bad idea. It's 5 off spec. <laughs> 10 off spec. Okay. Have you ever played on WoW Circle? I have no idea what WoW Circle is. I'm sorry, Bensei. No. Go with the Death Knight, says Peter. Yes. Vote, guys. Vote. Let me know what you want to see. Play a Hunter? I have not ever played on WoW Circle. No. Ghost Drummer says, when Classic puts out the Burning Crusade or Wrath of the Lich King servers, will you play them? I'll play Wrath of the Lich King. I'm not too big of a fan of Burning Crusade. Um, it is a good step in the right direction after vanilla, but Wotlik is where... Wotlik is where I sat, man. <laughs> Hello. Two people asking for DK. Retripala is already saved, Nick. We did this yesterday. If you want to see Retripala point of view, then go check yesterday's raid. Um, that's where we did it. We also did the TOGC. So yeah. Demonology Warlock. Some redemption. Yeah, that, that could be nice. Frost DK, a lot of people with the DK. Alright. 
What's the ID behind the group ordering, besides having at least one Renai in each group? Oh. Oof. I won't be able to show you that right now, but... Basically, you have group 1 and the first half of group 2 inside. So group 1 is going to be composed of melee DPS that will stay inside. Group 2 is composed of healers and I think the tank for inside and the rest is all outside. So you have a few spellcaster groups outside. You have a rogue group. Um, a lot of people for the frost DK. With your luck you should go with unholy DK because you're gonna get that damn scale. Should I try? Should I try to go on that unholy DK? I mean... Combat rogue if possible. Feral. Feral could be fun. Um, yeah. Let's see. Let's log in. We can ask them. Yeah, yeah let's log in on this. And we'll see if they want the unholy. <laughs> if there's no one online with unholy... Fucking hell, wrong guild. Wait, different character. <laughs> I'm sorry, Enigma, I love you, but... That's why I like to have all my characters in one guild. For that simple reason. Go Unholy Death Knight, Red Lemonistas Warlock as well. Go Priest. Any type of Priest, well, lock the Priest for now. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Can you explain why the majority of Alliance, but some Horde too, gank low levels all the time? Alright Nick, it all started in 2005. There was a kid, he was playing World of Warcraft. He just entered Stranglethorn Vale. He was playing a human, mage. He didn't have much gear or gold, in fact it was his very first character ever. As soon as he'd walked into Stranglethorn Vale. He noticed that the flight master wasn't alive. He thought it was weird, but he kept on moving. And then suddenly... <coughs> sap. The boy got sapped. And guess what happened afterwards? Whoosh! Ambush! The man fell to the ground and released his spirit. After that, he died 17 more times. <laughs> 15 years later, the dude's playing Warmane. And he's like, yo, this level 30 mage? He, I'ma fuck it up. That's exactly what happened, man. <laughs> let's see what we can play. Um, let's ask for the Unholy Death Knight. <laughs> hey, you fancy uh, Unholy Death Knight? <laughs> the boy got PTSD, yes. <laughs> That's exactly what happened, man. It's just a circle of life, Nick. It goes on and like... Um, you kill someone... And then, uh, you know, <laughs> you die, you kill someone, and it just goes on. It's this circle of life. I have a level 55 Discipline Priest? Oof. Well, I'm not sure if I can outdo that. Uh, I don't really have any green gear right now. It's all just this shitty purple color. That big... Alright, we'll see what the officers say. I told them that I would prefer the uh, Unholy Death Knight or the Warlock. We'll see what happens. H. Pala. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Out of all of these um, suggestions, I, I think I'm not gonna ask them to play H. Pala. I just, <laughs> I just don't like it. Chaos the Second says, What are the best in slot beer trinkets in your opinion? Well, it kinda depends on the fight. Um... If you're gonna have a magical fight, you're gonna always need to have Sindragosa Trinket, for sure. The stamina, the cooldown is just too big. Especially on a beer, you don't really have that many uh, magic resistance cooldowns, right? Now, um, for the second one, I would probably say that Corroded Skeleton Key goes a very, very long way. But best in slot. Um, maybe Satrinas. I, I actually like that idea of the health on the bear. Maybe you're gonna want um, the Petrified Twilight skill. But I'm, I'm, I'm just not quite sure about it. I need to actually have played the bear tank in ICC 
to be able to tell you that. So, you know, Latchfin is leveling up uh, Batata. You don't have the Healbot add-ons? No. And yeah, that's the only way to uh, connect fast Sparta. If you gotta donate, it's a premium lifetime thing. I think it's worth it. Hey, Abraham, how are you doing? Hope you're having a wonderful day. And I'm, uh, yeah, I'm fine. I'm waiting for the officers to get some bodies in this raid. And uh, we'll go over the raid setup when we're in the Ruby Sanctum. We'll check it. Is this a guild run? Yes, of course, the Asperity guild. What's the point of raiding on characters that you have best in slot items on? Alright, so I'm in a guild, right? And a guild has, you know, certain ways of keeping uh, currencies. In this guild, we have DKP. You have EPGP, it exists as well. But, um, yeah, if you take a look at my main here. Saraju, this is my main character in the guild. I have Neto, 4444. <laughs> I have Neto, 4440 DKP. In total, I got 22k. If you look at Valkor, his netto is 700. If an item drops that I want and Valkor also wants, and I bid 800 DKP on it, there is no way that he can outbid me, guaranteeing that I will have the item in my bag due to all of the DKP that I have saved up from playing other raids. Now, how do you get this? You play raids. If you are best in slot, and you go to a raid and you don't make a mistake, that's a net gain. You're going to be gaining DKP on that night because there's no chance that you're gonna spend any DKP on a best in slot character. I think DKP is better than EPGP. I like hoarding, I'm a dragon, that's what I do. <laughs> and uh, yeah. That's why you raid on best in slot characters. Besides that, you can just have fun, man. Pop that potion, see what your limit is. Talvik went up to 18k here, Nerat was on 15.6k. These are some stupid high numbers. Um, this is not accurate outside the PES, or is it? Huh? What? Right, right, right. Th this is outside. They're using Fan of Knives. And Death and Decay, this is unholy. I got Soul turned around there for a second. But yeah, you know. Fun. Um, try harding. Getting DKP, these are all reasons to play raids. Which trinkets are best in slot for the protection paladins? I prefer PTS and Sindra, um, and Sindra Gosa trinket. Sindra Gosa trinket is just too good. Every single class benefits so good from its stamina, magic resistance cooldown, too good. PTS, I like it actually, combined with the 4 set that the paladins will have, uh, the tier 10 4 set. Activating Divine Plea with that tier 10 4 set is going to give you 12% dodge rating right here. If Lich King is bopping the ever-living heck out of you, there's a really good chance that PTS Heroic is going to, uh, you know, proc. When you, when you uh, most need it. So, you get your 12% dodge rating from Divine Plea. You get your 830 dodge rating from PTS Heroic here. Together that adds up to about 24% dodge rating. That is a 24% dodge rating. That's a 24% chance that you're going to dodge the next attack of Lich King. Guaranteeing a 1 in 4th survival rate. If you have petrified, um, if you have the un unidentifiable organ, you know, you got that organ trinket on. It's not gonna give you a 25% chance to live the next hit. Alright? I'm praying to RNGesus. I know it might sound so stupid. But man, the amount of times it saved me. You guys wouldn't believe. How much must uh, how much do I have to donate? For most countries, the minimum is 10 euros. Hey Kevin, how are you doing? Hope you're having a wonderful day, mate. And Nikolaus. Well, he is the devil, but hope you're still having a wonderful day. Will there be any character giveaway in the future? I've actually thought about it, and yeah, it, it needs some more work, that ID. Hey man, until when are you going to stream, says Atanas? Well, we got the second Ruby Sanctum, for sure. 
we might go ahead and uh, play some scribble afterwards. Do you guys know what scribble is? Guys and girls, of course. Just like that. I'm not sure how big those rooms can be. But let's see. I don't know, I would rather take the TOGC25 one or Organ instead of the Ruby Sanctum Trinket for the bear. Yeah, I'm not sure about bear. I've never played it. In theory, the same... Um, the same dodge rating thing cannot really be applied to a bear because you don't have Divine Plea giving you the dodge rating. So 12%, it's not 1 in 4th, that's like 1 in 8th or something, right? Like 1 in 7th. That's suddenly a whole lot more bad. Hey! Sup, Fixie! Do you do viewer raids? I will do them in a little bit, yeah, once in a month or something. Just getting snacks, good luck. Well, don't worry, Atanas, we're not starting just yet. In fact, I really hope that they swap me to something else. Such as the Unholy Death Knight. Whisper, um... So how about that Unholy Death Knight, huh? <laughs> no, I'm putting way too much pressure on him like that, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that at all. Um, I do want to ask them... How do I ask this politely? Sir, please, can I have some DK? That's still guilting him, that's not... that's also pressure. Fewer raids. <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, nah man, it's just me putting like way too much pressure on myself and being like... Honestly, just being a little bitch. Who's the real one? Opa! Well, FFB best in slot. All right. Are you? I've seen this mage before, man. Hold up. This name is so familiar to me. Is this like a super old character? Yes. That's not your character, huh? I know the person who this used to belong to. That is, yeah. If it is your character and I'm like totally accusing you of buying that character, then I'm so sorry. But I think I I think I know the person who this belonged to. I think I wasn't flawless with him or her, Russian woman, maybe. I'm getting also all kinds of weird memories. How can I move my alt? I have so many characters. I just want. It to be a main and bank alt is that possible? I don't want to delete my extra ones. Um, what do you mean? All game? Um, you can't like move your characters from account to account. They, they won't la let you do that probably. I don't know. Hey, finally disc. I want to see this. I'm not sure what we have to play at Milan. Oh! 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 Unholy time! All my characters is old player, it has to be Abrahim. Because I, I remember that name. I DPS fought against that mage in 2015. Alright, let me make sure I don't get hacked. Just one second here. Alright. Okay, so. <laughs> If we forget holy Pri if we forget holy priest, what heal hole would you say is the hardest? Uh, resto druid, man. I don't know how those really good resto druid, um, how those really good resto druids actually get all that healing. I don't know how they do it. Uh, let me make sure I'm fully jammed and enchanted, because I don't want to look like a fool. This is end, 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 end game. <laughs> Just unequip them. There we go. That's better. <laughs> There we go, much more bass all of a sudden. Look at that. Mm, okay. <laughs> uh. Alright, there we go. It's fine, we're jammed and enchanted, guys. <laughs> nah. Let's hope that they don't mind. 
Navot did about 15k DPS. So this is going to be... This is going to be... Um, we're not going to be doing 15k DPS. <laughs> The DK God, let's go. Don't think it's easy, not sure though. Yeah, the rest, of, I'm not sure about the rest of the route. A Holy Priest is definitely hard. Um, Holy Priest is very difficult. You have something for every single situation, but that something is like, yeah. It, it, it's just hard to know when to do what, and you gotta be so fast with the Holy Priest. Even the, the movement speed shields, right? That's like, sorta of predictive. You gotta be really ready in order for that to, uh... <laughs> in order for that to be efficient. Resto is easy? What do you mean? Well, I can never get good heals on the Resto. I've tried, but... When you look at good restoration routes, we have a few in the guild. One of them is Dope Doc. Yes, that's his actual name. In real life. Um... This guy is an absolute god at Resto Druids. Like, literally his note says, Best Resto Druid Worldwide. Full caps, all of them. All of those letters are caps. And he's got that DKP, that total DKP, by playing pretty much only Resto Druid. He can outheal me on LOD, on a Resto Druid, by getting, <laughs> getting more heals on the tank. I'm pretty sure he could if he tried. But he gets so much healing, and I don't know how he does it, man. I can't get it done on the rest of the route. Okay, first of all, this guy knows how to play Unholy DK. Yo, enige tips. In Dutch, that means any tips for me. Oh, he's playing Enhancement. We're both gonna suck. Oh, okay. Let's take a look. Alright, he tells me to stay on Helion. So, just DPS the Helion. Um, don't death and decay too early. Otherwise, you're gonna get aggro. Alright, so you really gotta check your aggro. Sure. I'll check my aggro. So he's, he's basically just telling me, stay on the boss, be careful with your timing, and that's it. Now, I really wish that we had a little bit more EOF. We could get Herkumi Warte Rinket, a token thingy. But we really don't right now. That's kind of sad. But let's get hyped for this Unholy Death Knight. We're gonna get a Virgin bonus, maybe. If enough people in the raid don't have the achievement, you get uh, additional DKP. So let's hope that there's some more versions here and uh, we can get a nice little bonus. Um, pop, 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 pop. Alright. Yeah, he's basically giving me the rundown on what to do in specific situations that are tricky. This is the best kind of advice, man. When people tell you, alright, these are the things that you gotta pay attention to, because I know from experience that those are the things you're gonna struggle with. That's the best kind of advice. Yeah. Trinket incoming. We're gonna get triple SDS Heroic. I'm calling it right now. We've had triple PTS Heroic in Asperity a few times, but this is gonna be triple SDS Heroic. Me and Max are both gonna get it. Wait, 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 this is not good. We're using DKP, ladies and gentlemen. We need to find out what his DKP is. Daisy. Alright, we gotta find the D and the A. Oh, that's the other way around. Daisy. Where's the D? Ah, <laughs> That's fine. Ah. <laughs> Let's see if anyone else is gonna be a threat. Oh shit. Fu Warrior. I wish I still had my DKP add on. 
This is this this might be a problem right there. This guy, I think he has mad DKP. But I can't find him in my list. Where are you? Priestess. Oh no. Oh no. I think he has mad DKP. He's always here on some capacity. Alright, where's the P? For fuck's sake! <laughs> okay, Nerat, where are you? Nerat, Nerat, Nerat. Nerat? Nerat? No, no Nerat here. Um. Ne oh. Oh no, 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 no. He's gonna be able to outbid us. That's not good. Let's go for Apocalypse Advanced and Sharpen Twilight Scale. You're right. I could really use Apocalypse Advanced. Well, he has them at least, but um, game on, bitch. See if you got balls. That's gonna cost him a lot of DKP, or me. Oh, Jesus, it's getting exciting now. How much time do you need to grow a fresh character from 1 to 80? Well, if you keep them out in the sunlight, then usually about 2-6 to six months, and you should be fine. Um, if you want to rush it, you can get it done in like 8 hours. If you just want like... An okay time frame... You can, you can do stuff in like... 16, 16 hours, you can probably finish it. If you're going at an at a really okay at, at, at like an okay speed. If you're gonna go slow, then anything between two hours or my, I mean like two weeks and like a month or something like that. No, don't kill me! Don't kill me! Don't kill me! I'm so sorry. I needed to take aggro. Alright, this is fine. We're pumping him out now. We're pumping him. Ah, oh, Kisney has so much DPS. You gotta stop that, Kisney. Just stop it. Just stop that DPS. Alright, we gotta kite him away from Kisney. And just slow it. Okay. Magically, he didn't over aggro me. We are back at 100. Yeah, Helmon. Feels good. How are you doing, Remy? Hope you're having a wonderful day. So now are you doing a raid? Yes, now we're gonna do Ruby Sanctum 25 Heroic on the Zero, who might become a hero today. Depending on STS drops. And depending on this... this... You know, I don't think STS gonna drop. Too many people need it. We'll see. He's got it. Oh, come the fuck on. Should I, like, swap to a decent character? Like, what the, fuck, what the fuck is all this shit? Let's find out what he's on. Tall. Oh, that's the wrong way again. I gotta sort this back, like, I'm confusing myself too much. Remember. Okay, so we find the... Where is the R? Remember... Oh no! These heroic marks have come at a very, very costly price. Alright. SDS heroic, that's good. SDS heroic, that's good. Um, nice damage. I think he will have it. Kogia, he has it. Rotken has it. And there's one more rogue right there. We're gonna have competition, man. We need three SDS heroics. We need them. Otherwise, we're gonna be burning so much DKP on it. Hola, sure, mate. Yeah, we've got a little bit of a question here from Bervin in the in-game chat. That's fine. What's Tot? Tot is Tricks of the Trade. It's the rogue version of the Misdirection. Just download quick DKP. Nice add-ons track how much DKP. I know, I know, I used to have it and then I don't have it anymore. But I really should get it. 
it's very useful to see all of this and uh, you know come up with a, a bidding strategy. Of course, there's not much uh, strategy to be applied in a Ruby Sanctum. It's only one boss. But let's say that you and one more person are getting carried. You and this person both have 5,000 DKP at the start of the raid. You and this person both need the same items. You can strategize, give him some items for a lot of DKP, burn his D like you know it's a burn his DKP, right? This way, you're going to be able to tactically outspend him. If you really want that Lich King weapon, and you can't have the chance that he that he wins it, you're going to tactically give him another item for it, so his DKP gets lowered. Now what he could do, is while you're bidding him up, right? You're going 100, 150, he's putting 200, you're putting 300. He could say pass, leaving you in that same situation, you just tried to pull him in. So, the DKP is a whole lot of fun. Alright, I thanked uh, Max for that DK advice. Oh yeah, that Tuzi, that would also work. Siddler, thank you so much for subscribing, man. Appreciate it. Whoppa! Jump right down, hit him hit in the air. Um, right, right, hold on. I completely fucked my rotation up. That's fine. I mean, it's not really, but it's fine. Let's boot back there. No, oh, just slow that right there. I'm not. I'm not here to do the most damage in the raid. Don't no worry. I'll. I'll use a, a thing like that. A. Uh, what you call that? A chains like that. That's fine. Like we're gonna be. Yeah, yeah, we're definitely at the bottom now. I definitely screwed over my rotation. But, um, yeah, <laughs> it's not good. It is definitely a carry. Don't uh, take that out of context. We are getting carried right now. So thank you, Asperity. I do appreciate it a lot. And we're going to be trying our best in order to repay them. We do have a flask. We have potions, that's very good. Oh, I, I got some gems ready as well, in case we get some loot. It's usually how I gear people. What's your ARP? Says Merit. Let's take a look. 500 and 570. Uh, 557. 40% basically. Might of the Ocean Serpent? Yeah, it would be... I actually think this is very good. My next thing that I'm gonna buy with EOF is going to be Herkumi War Token. I might end up doing a quick RDF after this to get that 60 uh, EOF in. Maybe a few people from the stream can help me out with that RDF. We'll see. If you guys want, of course. Bone Shield as well. Yeah, I had it up on that fight. It's right here on the right side. Uh, alongside with Horn of the Winter, which I should actually go ahead and reconfigure. So that I can see it from everyone. Oh, we got some ads, and she's flying. Oh, okay, that's that's really good. Let's go ahead and AMS that. Man, let me let me tell you guys something. Since I started playing Death Knight on the stream, you guys have been tearing into me with why don't you use AMS? Where's your anti magic shell, Hobby? <laughs> and it's right, it, it's. I should be doing it, man. It's so good. It is so strong. But there's only a few things AMS cannot take care of, and in those situations, a hand of protection will always cover it. So, if your AMS doesn't take care of it, you can basically. I can basically guarantee you that. Um, and the protection will take care of it. So with that knowledge, you know, that's good to know. You can get some stuff done. 
Her Kumi is really good for Unholy. Yeah, that's what I'm aiming for. Get it as soon as I can. Hey, Dondola, how you doing, man? Hope you're having a wonderful day. Where the pet at? I summoned it just in time, FOF. Just in time. But yeah, let's get the bone shield back up. Alright, the pony. Hey, Niklas, thanks for the cheers. Appreciate it. And yes, Dimitar, I am playing on the war main server. Hey, Shawnee B, how you doing, mate? Hope you're having a wonderful day. Oh, a little bit of a ninja pull, perhaps. Oh, that's fine. I'll go ahead and pop the gargoyle. Use the empowered own weapon. Yeah, this is one of those things. This is one of those mechanics where Hand of Protection does actually 100% uh, give you immunity to this fear. Because it's 100% physical, right? If anti magic shell doesn't work, it's a physical. <laughs> yeah, if the one thing doesn't work, it's another thing. That's basically it, really. No, don't do it. Don't worry about it, man. Stop feeling bad about it. Really. I have stopped feeling bad about it since 10 minutes after that raid. I still feel regrets about it, but don't feel bad. Take away from it what you can. If you see some kind of weird lesson in it, that's good. But uh, don't be bad about it. Don't feel bad about it. Opinions on the Apollo 2 server. Don't know what it is. What's the Apollo 2 server? <laughs> you always raid that late in the night because I just ended my guild ICC and you guys have just started. Yeah, honestly, it's kind of a blessing in disguise this raiding time. This um, entire guild has been kind of a blessing in disguise in many ways. Good guild. I was rocking that Harkumi war token with heroic DBW and it was alright. Yeah. I feel like I'm gonna end up like that as well, Peter. Are those not special brews to, uh, next to the mind freeze icon? Yes. I have kept a few in case I ever need it. 9 out of 10 times, no, 99 out of 100 times, you're gonna take a potion of speed, right? But I figured I have them. Let's go ahead and uh, utilize them every now and then. So we got Horn of the Winter here. Remove only show of cast by self. Now it works a lot better. Yeah, I won't have to worry about it if someone else does it. Wow, Helmon, you're still stuck in that 24 people uh, queue? That's not good, man. We're gonna flask up. Elixir? I got it, I got it, Helmon. We got it. We ready. 30 seconds, we're gonna pre-pot as well. Yes. Oh, fuck, I hate that cooldown. I fucking hate that cooldown. Maybe it could, it's probably gonna be in time for the second ad wave. Perhaps we can use it there, and in the last wave we can use it one more. No! No, cancel the timer! Fuck! Fuck! Ah, now it, I was joking around and I forgot to use a potion. You know. No. Alright, get the gargoyle up. Alright, that's a lot of movement, but they got it in the right position at the end of the day. Alright, let's head back a little bit. Maximum melee range. Alright, and now Max told me that I just need to be patient here. And bide your time, is what he said. But, fuck that. Oh, there, that's a bit too late. It's a bit off point as well. 
relive because I blocked myself. Alright, I think that's the wipe. Yeah, I death clipped it. Easy. Uh, how many runs y'all doing? We'll be doing... Um, oh! We're doing... Um, in total, four runs. Maybe even six. It's, it's kind of depending on how fast they go. That protection warrior looks weird, says Scarcy. We can take a look. By the way, FOF, I did promise you a raid group overview. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the raid group. What do we have right here? Inside, the DPS is right here. All of these five people. Viper Lady is going to be healing inside. No Fair is going to be healing inside. And Nice Damage is going to be tanking outside. These two people are uh, DPSing outside. So these three are inside. Viper Lady, No Fair, Nice Damage is inside. Uh, the other people are outside in that group. Now, everyone else is going to be outside in the third phase. So you got your Demo Warlock. Dude, holy shit. Accepted. Already on that quest, already on that quest. One person managed to accept it. We're gonna share that one more time for Alpha at least. Take the quest, you stupid fuck. Alright, he took it this time. That protection warrior. Okay, so. Demonology warlock outside, two boomkins outside, two mages outside, two shadow priests outside. A resto shaman outside, a holy paladin outside, a protection paladin outside, a secondary protection paladin outside as the third tank, another hunter rogue right there. That's the third shadow priest. We have a disc outside as well, it seems. An old holy death knight, and yeah, that's basically it. Like, these are the only TPS inside, really. Let's go ahead and pop the potion. Your stream title at Abby? We started as something else, right? Oh my. Um, we started as something else, a protection warrior, Tim. I will go ahead and make the... Uh, no, this sucks now. This is fine. This is fine. Let's just let them reset. That's fine. Just stay inside of that thing for a second. Just so that you can get a little bit of runic power from your anti-magic shell. Alright, so give it a sec here. The pestilence and the swan. And shit. Now I can definitely decay. Oh my god, what a mess. That was just terrible. Absolutely terrible. Tim, you took me out of my focus. I blame you, Tim. To be honest, it was uh, it was the ninja pool again. I need more damage from the boss. I'll pop the gargoyle for you. Alright. Go. Get the desolation up, keep that shit up, it's 5% damage increase. Alright, where are we at? Not that great. Not that worse. Not that not that bad, but Bone Shield, we got the pet. They're inside. Right, go ahead and get yourself out of here quick. Stay on the back leg, don't want to get buried. Now let's see how much AMS does here. Oh, juicy, juicy, I like it. So that's giving us a lot of uh, runic power. Alright, we're gonna do... Empowered wound weapon outside, we're not gonna use it there. I was thinking about using it, but we will not much better used outside. And it's going 
fine. One shoulder on your, uh, one orb on your left shoulder, one orb on the right, and you're all good to go. Okay, we're going outside. Leave them with some uh, dot up there. Should have put the other plague as well. Let's stay on, uh, on the maximum side here. Maximum melee range. <sighs> I'm nervous about this next one. I'm gonna pop Empowered Rune Weapon, but uh, I think I'm gonna completely mess it up. here alright that should have been good damage like, I know an holy DK doesn't look like you're, sp you're not breaking the keyboard or anything but that's because it doesn't work like that it feels a lot more controlled than a lot of other melee DPS classes now I don't have the DPS to back that up just yet but I think it's the right way to just chill out a little bit Like right now, I don't know if I can do anything. I could have probably gotten a Skirk Shrike in. I'll say that. That's something I definitely have to do. I'll go ahead and use IBF here. I don't want to die. Like, if anyone here in the chat, Adako, maybe you know, if you're still in there. Is it okay to just stand still? Oh, oh no 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 no! That's not okay. I just got tail swiped. Am I standing too much still? Because I I feel like I am, but now I'm not standing still, and now I don't have wounds. Oh, that was misplaced. Pestilence back on the balls like this, that's fine. Alright. We have gargoyle, we're gonna use gargoyle. Ooh. Tricky. I get that gargoyle up. Alright, let's get another Pestilence, just for uh, good measure. Oh, I'm getting aggro. Oof. Eh, that's not smart, that's not smart, that's not smart. Alright, we're fine. This shouldn't be an issue. We still have the uh, Evan Plague Bringer from the Boomkin coming up. And we won't have another Ad Wave. So my usefulness has been done. They're not gonna focus this Ad Wave. The 13% damage increase that I will provide is mo okay. It's it's fine. It's fine. That was so fucking stupid that I did not see that like a lot of men. It's on, baby. Oh, it is on. That's going to be expensive. If you guys were here at the start, I told you there's three people with like 5,000 DKP each, me included, that need it. That is go, it's on. So yeah, a bit of panic at the end. Definitely shouldn't have ran through the fire. <laughs> um, Alright, let me check some comments here. That cooldown is too long. Uh, when you use it, the burst is serious though? Yes. I once got Tamka strength and everything and got aggro on Sin Rosa and wiped the raid with a frozen breath. Yes. Give me a name of one of your officers in the guild if possible. Let's take a look. Um, oh. We got nice damage online and volley marsh right now.
Hey, Skybin, nice to see you. Can you get Tim to teach me DK? Um, sure, Tim. Teach Skybin to, to DK. <laughs> then you play with him? I don't want him on my team. Tim, who is him? Hey, Admir, how are you doing? Hope you're having a wonderful day, mate. Let's play a custom game. New profile pick. Didn't you have a frog like the one in Discord? Nah. Why oh, you guys are clearing this up between yourselves? I see. Get it? Win that SDS is right. Well, it's gonna be mad expensive. Is LOD achievement required to enter in your guild? Yes. FOF says nice achievements. Normal and heroic. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Beautiful. Oh my god. This SDS will be lit. This is gonna be one crazy SDS, man. Take a look at this. Doll. Boom, he needs it. Fury Warrior. He, he, he needs it. Uh, we, both, we all have 3000 DKP. Faded needs it, maybe? Oh, Faded needs it. Big B. Faded. Oh, 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 Alright, the loot bugged. Alright, loot bugged, but they managed to unbug it, so thank god. You came up for once? YouTube working a little? Yeah, James, it's very good, very good. I've had more uh, people say it. Uh, it's uh, such a relief, poor oh, such a relief, man. But yeah, SDS incoming. Now, let's... Let's start off the party. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, then I looked at this group, I was like, come on, you gotta invite me to this? <laughs> really? <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Ah! Oof! Dude, don't go so fast, I need to entertain the people, Boxster. <laughs> Oh, do I want to? Yo, uh No, no, no. No. No, 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 I'm not crazy, man. That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. Congrats. That is insane. Insane. You gotta realize, one ICC is 150 DKP. What is, what is 3.8k divided by... 130 DKP. 3800 divided by 130. That's 30 ICCs. Yeah, alright. Have fun, tall. <laughs> yeah! Wow! <laughs> Five minutes later, tall has left the guild. <laughs> oh, money. Money, man. I can't do that, that's too much. That would be like my entire bank account. No thank you. I'm gonna regret not buying this. <laughs> I'm so gonna regret not buying that. But it's alright, we'll get our Kumi. Hey, is Drenna your favorite race? Yes, you get the 1% hit rating, you need it. You need like at least four of them in your late group, basically. So, yeah. Someone's gotta do it. Alright, let's go ahead and buy the EOF trinket. Tim says, you can send me your questions about it on Discord if you want. And for Frost DK, I've never played it. So maybe check with Abby or like half his viewers. There do seem to be a lot of Frost DK fans, man. Wait, how do you get that mount? Uh, you kill the Lich King, and then you spend some DKP. Rice official says the next one should be yours. That's the thing, right? That guy, 
now needs to do 30 ICCs before he can fuck with me again. 30 ICCs. If I don't do any ICCs with him at the same time, or like, you know, just don't spend any of my DKP. So, in a sense, you check off someone off the list. That person won't need it anymore. And, you know, you go up one spot. So either way, it's fine. If you don't win it, it's fine. 64 Frosties, yes. Right, Elidor, you reminded me. Rai says all in. Nah, 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 nah. FOF says if you don't win, at least make them kill each other for it. This man has uh, studied Caesar. If you don't win, make sure they don't win either. Make them feel like they've missed something more than, uh, than uh, they're making you miss. That's the whole Caesar thing. Anyway, we need some hit rating at this point. Hmm. I don't know where we are gonna get that. We have too much expertise. I'll think about it later, that's fine. I don't want to use this trinket anymore. I'd much rather have this. We're almost 6.1k. That's good. Um, if we were to do this, yeah, almost 6.2 at that point. Um, yeah, sure, let's do another. But yeah, for now, this is good. That's gonna be much better than this shitty fucking thing. Let it get forever. There we go, save it. He won by winning an item anytime soon, unless no one wants. Uh, he won't be winning an item anytime soon. Yeah, exactly. So that's why DKP is, in my opinion, good enough. You don't need that whole EPGP system. He's not going to be able to buy an item. And I will. And if we get into that situation the next time, he won't even be able to burn my DKP. You know, it's all about being patient, really. If you have enough patience, you can buy every single item for 5 DKP. Now, I'm not that patient. So, um, how about we lock the Enhancement Shaman for the next one? <laughs> hey Rico, how you doing? Um, yeah, for me, I'm fine. We just got carried in Ruby Sanctum. Now, we kind of almost pulled our weight, didn't we? Almost. Death and Decay was definitely top damager, so you do need to be patient with it, just like Mox said. We got the diseases after that. Auto attack is still up there. Even with all that AoE going on, it's still in there. Just goes to show that armor penetration is not completely invaluable. Yeah, Rune Strike. I should have managed my defensives a bit better against those things as well. That last time I went to her ham way too early. Got the aggro. Died. Not good. How much DKP do I have left? Let's take a look. Actually, let's go ahead and use the tactic that FOF has taught us. Where's an officer? Where is officer? Whisper Valimar. Uh, DKP. I have 4.5k DKP. So if I would have bought that trinket for 4k, I would have had 500 left. You cannot buy jack shit with 500. You can't compete with 500. You gotta think about the long run. Can you show your macros? Yeah, I can show them on the Unholy. We are going to be playing something else in the next run. Um, not the Protection Warrior, it's already saved. Not the Retribution Paladin, we've done that already today. So, um, yeah, the macros for the Unholy is uh, Scourge Strike, Rune Strike, very important. We won't be needing that anymore. Oh, that feels good. Pet Attack, use 10. 10 refers to the item slot, which is the 10th item slot, and that's the hands. So if I were to click it, there you go. Use 10 equals use hands. Cancel Aura Hand of Protection and Divine Intervention, of course. Uh, Plague Strike with the Pet Attack, cancel Auras. Icy Touch, Pet Attack, cancel Auras. This is the Interrupt Macro, a mod shift. <laughs> if I bought that STS though, not so much. We've got the Interruption Macro right here. If I hold down my Shift button, you can see it change to Strangulate. 
it's just to save up a little bit of action bar space, you know. Death and Decay with Blood Boil for the area of effect damage situations. Not sure if I ever have to do something with this. Um, this one is kind of interesting, very simple. Basically, it allows the ghoul to leap and stun with the same button. Once again, saving up some space. Some uh, action bar space. And uh, of course, Blood Strike with the Rune Strike as well. Uh, oops. Anyway. Hey, Alin. No more Frost. Yeah, I just spent them. And we won't be needing any more Frost either, man. Maybe for a tanking set, uh, get the EOF armor belt. We'll be probably picking that up. But, um, full heroic. No Penumbra, sadly. Oh, that would have been so good. So good. How do you get DKP? Um, so yeah, you kill a dragon. And then for the dragon killing, you get points. DKP, dragon kill points. That's basically it. You kill a boss, you get some points, and it gets added to your currency, and it's all good. Another vote for the Demonology Warlock. Go for the Warlock, Peter, as well. Yes, alright. Let's see. We have a Warlock. Ouch, that might be issue. If he is Demonology, which I can't see quite yet, he needs to summon his pet for me to identify what he is. I will not be able to play Warlock. Uh, someone also asked for Priest. I do see that that slot is open. Let's go ahead and check the classes right here. Be Shadow, Be Shadow, basically best in slot Shadow. Seam is in, Lolbat is in, Swing seems to be doing Scarlet freaking Monastery. Oh, it's Mad for Life! Hi! I would suggest the Lana Thelnek for endgame equipment over Penumbra, Peter. That would be crazy. Alright, yeah. What are you doing now? I'm just checking in with the officers what they need. Um, let's take a look. Um... Want any specifics yet? Um, no, let's just wait for them a little bit. They'll get to me. They really will. Uh, we just need to wait for a little bit. I mean, yeah. Are you going for Ruby Sanctum? Yes, there is going to be one more Ruby Sanctum. The officers are just figuring out what, uh, who's going to lock what. What character I will also have to play. And then we'll uh, we'll see about it. At Abbey, Holy Priest. I could really try. But like I said, let's wait for them to... Uh... No, let's just go ahead and ask them. I don't like asking them because I feel like I put pressure on them. And they, they got enough of that, man. They gotta do all these Ruby Sanctums in three hours. They're making a group, they're remaking the group, dealing with people's shit. I know how it goes. Um, I've been leading endgame, so I don't want to put too much pressure on them. But let's see. People wanted some uh, some warlock. Don't think that'll happen. But um, what do you want from me? <laughs> uh, yo, any ID? What to lock yet? If he gives me, like, a no answer, then I'll just, you know, I'll understand he's busy. That's completely fine. Can you go to the doll while waiting and fight to show a little bit of your rotation? Oh, need maybe a healer? No, holy priest? This would be fun too. Uh, sure, please deal's fine. Or tank or rogue. Hola. Okay, so we got Priest Healer, please. I buy and 
All right, logging over for rate, logging over for the rate. Be right back on priest. I have a paladin question. Uh, sure, be right back on priest. Sorry, for, I, I need to log the raid. All right, let's go ahead and log the priest. I have a holy set. I'm not sure if they want me to be on the holy. Probably not, right? He wants the pain suppression. So yeah. Go ahead and log in real quick. There is the priest. Admir says rogue. I will see. Maybe for the next one. Can probably do one more after this. If this one is like a smooth uh, run, let's do one more. Uh, okay, so let's let's talk about the discipline priest rotation, right? So you go ahead and target someone, and then you press your power word shield. Now you have 15 seconds where you can just kind of like dance around. You know, maybe maybe go ahead and vendor some items. You know, like. Like what is this essence of the of this of this herper derp? You don't need that. Just delete it. It's all good. Preserved holy. I'm not gonna delete that. What am I crazy? All right. Hola, please heals. There we go. So I hope you guys are ready for priest, because you ain't seen nothing like this. Look at that spirit. Ah. <laughs> I actually crafted a, uh, a full spirit set. Theoretically, you can have like 3000 spirit, but it, it doesn't make it any better. But I do want to get spirit in here. Just tried Elemental Shaman on Blackrock. Lava Burst and Chain Lightning is fun, let me tell you that. Yeah, while the Lava Burst is traveling to the target, the Chain Lightning... Um, Catches up and hits at the same time as the lava burst, and it's like one of the most nasty damages burst, one of the most nasty damage bursts in the game, especially in PvP. All right, so ferocity in my whisper has a question here. On my retribution paladin, I have exactly twenty six expertise. Do I switch the glyph of vengeance with exorcism? Do you have twenty six expertise with the glyph? of vengeance because you need 26 expertise if the glyph can help you with reaching 26 expertise go for it but once you get 36 expertise with glyph just drop the glyph get exorcism in yeah exactly what Frosty said <laughs> yeah same Chris Goodwin I don't know what changed but the YouTube gods are smiling on me again so let's uh, let's keep the profanity to minimum and uh, find a sponsor. <laughs> Don't forget the flask. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. Where is it? Ah, I have two. All right, that's all right. Without it, with it, thirty-six. Yeah, you can swap. Uh, you can swap to exorcism. It'll be a damage increase. And that's pretty much, you know, how you gotta think about these things. If you're gearing, you might get a lot of unequal uh, balances, you know, in your stats. And, uh, you know, if you understand how you get those stats and how to reduce them, how to how to turn them into the stats that you do want. That's good. XP load says I've seen a lot of first time players on Warmain this week. I've seen a lot of first time players on Warmain in my lifetime. They are always coming and they are always going. And uh, I think I lost a lot of money to them. <laughs> so Dan says Are you still going, Abi? How long do you usually stream for? Um, in the midday, in the afternoon for me, or 16 server time at the moment, we go for 4 hours, something like 3 hours, 4 hours, you know. And in the midnight, we at least go for 2 to 3 hours. So, it's about 6-7 hours of content. Buffy X says, what is your priorities as a disciplined priest? What spells are you using? 
So you swap to your dual talent, which is holy, and then you go and have a lot more fun. <laughs> okay, so Discipline Priest has... Just as any other healer, the priority list is not like... Okay, it's this obvious, this is what you press at this moment for maximum heals. Damage is not always the same. It's predictable, yes. But it is not always going to be the same. On BQL, sometimes you get Blood Bolts on the melee, and other times you get Blood Bolts on isolated range DPS. Huge difference in how you have to handle that with your healing. As a Discipline Priest, in general, what you're going to want to be doing is shield people. Now, who do we shield? Who do we shield? Are we going to be shielding the melee DPS that have 50k health, that have like 60% armor uh, damage reduction, you know, physical damage reduction from armor, that have cooldowns that either drop their aggro, give them dodge rating? Are we going to be shielding the tanky boys? Or are we going to be shielding the 20k HP mage that only has ice block? Um, are we going to be shielding the Demonology Warlock that has sick area of effect aggro? Are we going to be shielding the healers? The priority in a Discipline Priest comes in who do you shield and not like what do you do? It's in who do you shield and how do you use Prayer of Mending? The melee, when they get damage, you go ahead and use the Prayer of Mending on them. It's going to ping around them, you're going to hear like bling. That's what you shoot here anyway. And they're gonna be full healed. This thing is crazy, Prayer of Mending. You can easily get like... 8k healing per second out of this thing alone. Okay, I don't know how healing per second is calculated. You can get a lot of healing from it, alright? But, besides Prayer of Mending, you got a lot of shields. Now, because shields have a cooldown, you have the 15 second uh, weakened soul debuff right here, right? So what you're gonna wanna be doing is shield your healers first in an LOD situation. Shield your healers. Ignore the Shadow Priest. They will not need the shields. They self-heal like crazy. Ignore the Shadow Priest. Ignore the Affliction Warlock. He's gonna self-heal. Ignore it. Shield the Demo. Shield the Mages. Shield the Boomies. Shield the Hunters. And after that, when you don't have anyone left to shield of the squishy range DPS and the healers, go ahead and shield the Rogue. Go ahead and shield the Enhancement Shaman. After that, go ahead and shield the tank. Why do you shield the tank? Infest is going to fuck my rupture and... Let's not get into that. But that's your priority list. Squishy people, um, less squishy people, completely no squishy people. If shit hits the fan, go ahead and pop the vine him. Shit shouldn't hit the fan, you cannot do much about it if it does, besides the occasional prayer of mending. You're just going to be shielding a lot. Is every one of your toons, except a druid, obviously, a space goat? My warlock is a human. <laughs> you can't have a Drenai uh, warlock. But yeah, you need to get that heroic presence, man. And I'm not going to play as a, as a male Drenai. No way. Have you ever heard their laugh? Is it very hard to get scrolls of deception? No. No, it's not that hard to get scrolls. Just do some raids and you'll get them eventually. I got 10 plus on most of my characters from just, you know, raiding casually. Well, casually. Considering I have 15 characters, casually spread out all over them. What's the gear score? Um, should be 6.5 on holy and 6.5 on disc. Yeah. What is the first character you're going to play on the new server? Female Draenei Retribution Paladin. Shocker, right? By the way, do you happen to have an Enhancement Shaman guide somewhere? Or an ICC run or something? I'm really interested in learning that spec, even though I know it's not that strong. Well, Enhancement is alright. It's not insanely good, but um, yeah, it's not a Fury Warrior. Andre Linz has just subscribed, thank you very much man, I appreciate it. Enhancement Shaman Kills can still put in some work. If you uh, go ahead and take the right spec, if you have enough experience in it, 
it's worth playing. It's fun. It's um, it's not a top DPS. Don't get I don't get any ideas about that. You know. But um, we are gearing one right now, Serdan. Um, yeah, I think tomorrow we'll play it some more on the afternoon stream. Simon says, "Short to you, noob. You're not writing an essay." I realized in the middle of that. Helmand says, "Each person can get 8k. It's instant healing." Yeah. The spray of mending is insane. Simon says, I'm gonna have to DDoS you. Oh no. Oh no. What if I DC? What will my guild ever do without a discipline priest? Hey, Philogix. Philogistics. Uh, Thank you very much for subscribing, man. Appreciate it. Simon has retracted messages. Oh no. On what realm will you play? Vesileski Leon, thank you for subscribing. We got a little bit of subscriber train going apparently. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Um, let's see here. On what realm are you going to play? So we're going to play on Frostworn, Patrick. Um, we're going to play on Warmain's new progressive server. And no, he didn't get banned, Hellman. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Oh, Tim actually went ahead and found one of those Enhancement Shaman POVs, didn't he? Oh, my, my chat crashed. I wish. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, see what we have to do here. Philip Preisler, thank you for subscribing, man. Appreciate it. Philip says, yo, dude. Another Philip, Philippe and Philip. Philippe says, yo, dude, how's Ruby Sanctum going? Uh, it's going fine. Taking a look at the raid, the officers seem to have the melee group sorted out here. We have a blood decay tank for icy talents inside. We've got Feral for improved leader of the pact. We've got two paladins covering the paladin stuff. Restoration druid inside. Restoration shaman inside. I'm gonna go ahead and tell Velm. Uh, go ahead and use judgment of light inside. Will be needing Judgment of Light inside with that setup. Um, we've got a Boomy, a Tank, Druid outside, two Warlocks, one of them Affliction with that name, Hari Dot Her, has to be Affliction. Uh, Paladin Tank, Paladin Tank, wait, no, 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 Paladin Tank, Paladin Tank, Balance Druid, what? I am Confusion. This is a Holy Paladin, of course. I'm stupid. Holy Paladin, Restoration, Shaman, uh, Discipline Priest right here. Each Paladin just got pulled inside. Never mind, don't use Joel. Two of the Rogues will be outside, of course. Then two of the Hunters are also going to be outside. We've got the Unholy Death Knight. Mm, it's all looking... It's all looking fine. I'll be check out my hunter on the side. The name is Omnificent. We can go ahead and do that. Uh, Rice, you can provide me the link if you can. So I can be lazy. Let's get used to people doing that, because it cuts down on my effort. Please. <laughs> can you tell me what characters are going to be strong in early Nux Ramas? Frost DKs are going to be amazing. Amazing. Enhancement Shamans are going to be a lot more viable than they currently are. Arms Warrior is going to probably surprise you. Arcane Mage is very likely to be very strong. What else? What else would be so strong early? I gotta say Survival Hunter perhaps even, man. Survival Hunter does not need Armor Pen and they scale super hard, so... Probably you're probably gonna be able to do some damage with survival. As far as the specs that we are currently using, that uh, that are still gonna be doing good damage. Let's see, balance is gonna be doing all right damage. Balance always does all right to, you know, super crazy damage. Shadow priests are not gonna be doing a great amount of damage, not at all without that tier ten. Um. Unholy Death Knight could do some okay damage. Like some. 
But Frost is gonna do so much more. Frost is insane low gear. Paladin's Retri are gonna be good damage. Mm. Maybe. Everything else is so tuned down, they just might be able to do some damage. Jovan says someone plays on Freaks. I think I played on Freaks once. Luckiness says at uh, Philip. Arcane for sure. I think Arcane has a good chance, yeah. Abraham says I was AFK. Did you give me a name of your officer? Yes. Uh, I did give you a name, but these are the current officers online at the moment. We've got Feripawa, Dikebala, Valimar. And you can also whisper Valkor, he can also help you with officer things. <laughs> Simon is gonna DDoS me. No. Discipline actions is Ember. Yeah. Maybe some holy. We'll see. If they want it. Um, there might not be a chance that they want it. FOS says destruction warlock, maybe. I didn't consider that. But they could be doing good damage, yeah. Destruction does very alright damage for early game. So the problem is they don't scale so hard. Cyrocos is in the chat. Hey, at Arby, how are you doing, man? Change your stream title. Right, right, right. Tim told me to do this as well, but I ignored Tim. But I cannot I cannot ignore Cyrocos. Um, protection Warrior. Unholy. Death Knight. And Disco Priest. The title's too long, it doesn't work. Hold on, this is gonna be one long ass title. <laughs> uh, Disco Priest. Yeah, that's too long of a title, I'll think about it. I'll just drop it like that for now. Um, no, actually, let's be dynamic. We're gonna put it on Disco Priest for now. And then after the stream, I'll go ahead and fix it. Yeah, dynamic. Dynamicism. Let's see here. I'm not sure I played on retail on those patches. Interesting. I played uh, Protection, Unholy and Disc up until now, yes. And do you think, since the bosses are buffed, that healers will... Uh, that healers like a holy priest is going to perform better. I don't think the bosses are going to be buffed on Frostmourne, but um, no. Holy Paladin is still just so insanely good from very low gear on. That Seal of Wisdom is too much, man. It is too much. Um, it's just too much mana over a certain amount of time. If you really cheese it, you can like cast one Holy Light, Seal of Wisdom one or two times, and if you get that to proc, you get your mana from Holy Light back. So it's crazy. Helmon says 1v1 on Holy. Well, I don't know how you do that on heals, but sure. I didn't get to watch your ICC stream. What did you get anyway? Um, we only played Ruby Sanctums to, for today, Zyro. Yesterday we played ICC. Did we play it in the morning? What What day is it today? Thursday, right? Yes. No, no, we leveled. We didn't do any ICC. I want to try and creep three classes up today, if possible, on the new server. Yeah, I'm gonna need four classes, I think, to fill my character list on the second account, so I can't do any more than that. Noob Disco Priest in Ruby Sanctum. Yes, <laughs> that's the title. Raids are going to be Lordron difficulty, I think. Wow. I didn't know that. I didn't hear about that at all. Pablo says, why don't you ban this guy? At Simon Cowell seems annoying. That's alright, man. There's much worse in Warmain. That, that's not even half of like what an actual good troll could be doing, so it's alright. He needs some love too. And I, like, I don't know, we're not best friends, but I feel like I know the person. 
And, um, you know, I have been in trade chat a little bit <laughs> in my past lifetime. FOS says Ice Crown experience rate with Lordron rate difficulty. Ah, all the Ice Crown players are like me right now. Whatever will we do? We're too bad to play on Lordron. This is. Oh no, all those realms first. Like, I will never be able to do them. I can only play on Ice Clown. Ah, we'll be fine. Simon Cowell is annoying, even in real life. He's literally hot, though. Like, he's actually hot. You can see his face is hot. Uh, I need to fix my grid real quick. Ah, I don't think it's gonna allow me to do that right now. Yeah, it won't. I have to do it out of combat. What is the requirements for joining the guild? I think you need at least 6.2k plus, and of course you need all the knowledge, and you need to fill out the application. Um, without the application, I don't think you'll have a chance to get invited. Okay, so top left corner. We don't need chain to Let's go ahead and create a separate profile. Um, how do we create a separate profile? Yeah, you see, that's not gonna work. Doesn't matter. I'll just do it like this for now. Top left corner, get rid of that. Ah, oh, shit, they're already pulling the boss. Oh, man. Bottom left corner. Ah! De debuff, 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 we can soul, there we go. Alright, let's hope it works. Eh, it almost works. That's fine. Pfft, he's getting slapped. Hey, Eduardo, how are you doing? Hope you're having a wonderful day, mate. Imagine being hyped about leveling a character in, in 2020. Man, I was hyped about leveling a character in 2019. I'll be hyped about it in 2021. If we survive this this damn year, honestly. Alright, so... Oof, big that. Ooh. Well, something is going wrong here. So this is why, as the warrior, I took this away, right? You guys remember when I was protection warrior and I got that ad? And we handled it much differently than these three tanks are? It's because they don't have the communication. They are refusing to, like, get that out of the melee. Some one of these other tanks should have stood up, should have walked there, and should have handled it. But instead, right now, no, nobody's handling it. And two people died because of it. At least we were able to cleave it. Tim says, I would be surprised if Frostmourne doesn't crash a bunch and has... Uh, an and if it didn't have any load issues at release. Dude. If it doesn't have any crashes or load issues, it's literally gonna be better than Blizzard. You know Blizzard's gonna DDoS them at least a few times. They can't have that. Alright, so... We're gonna try hard. Next conflagration is in 20 seconds. So you, your shields last for 30 seconds, so we're gonna go ahead and shield everybody. Simon says, if we become friends, I will DDoS you no longer. You guys see, he's, he just needs a friend, man. He just needs someone to love him, and someone to hold him. He just needs a hero to save him through the morning light. And he's gotta be strong, and he's gotta be tight, and he's gotta be fresh from the fight. Skra. <laughs> Please wish to my mage name and uh, settling officer name. I cannot find him. Well, Abraham, if it's about a guild invite, I can promise you that they're just going to tell you to fill in the application. And I can just tell you that myself. What the fuck? What is this raid? Huh. I got this. We got this, guys. 
Alright, that was kind of a waste. But what if this enrage that happened earlier and it didn't get dispelled? Oh, no, oh no, not Hattie Catty. All the three tanks are standing in front of it. Which is fair, I did that as well, my protection and warrior, so I guess I can't complain. My right, Captain Grapes and Necrotica. I didn't get all of them in a shield, but that's fine. Oof. Check this. Binding heal. Could have healed two people at once. What are your concerns while leveling in Frostmourne? Stream snipes. That's my concerns. It's a love and hate relationship. Exactly. <laughs> uh, did that last guy get resurrected? Yes, good. But it's not just a guy. That's a dude. What do you think about Warmain's bans for scripting and hacking? Or have you not heard about the issue? I think there were some people uh, wrongfully banned. Um, I'm not sure exactly what happened. But Warmain has had a lot of bot issues. A lot of scripting and hacking issues. They seem to have gone away for a while. And I think I understand that they want to keep that you know, as far away from... Uh, reality as possible at this stage bottom left debuff we can solve why is it not doing it show me the fucking it's not doing it we'll have to fix it for uh, halion uh what am i doing here that doesn't make any sense all right where's the other tanks on guni He hasn't heard about hacking and scripting, and he has spent 60% of his entire life on uh, playing World of Warcraft, says Simon. Those are some rookie numbers, man. You gotta crank that shit up. 60%? <laughs> I did that when I was only 5 months old. Oh no. Alright, GTS time. Who said a discipline can't heal? Oh boy. That is a lot of damage. Ooh, he took a hit. Yo. Catching hands. I think the safest way to level as fast as you can in the Frostmourne is by doing RDF, right? Yeah. But will RDF be on? Will they activate RDF from day one? I'm not sure if they will. I don't think they should. Plus, the world PvP might be a bit of fun. I don't really like PvP all that much, but even I have to admit, if no one has a main, that could be a lot of fun. Weakened soul. Why is that not doing a thing? It's spelled right. Enable. Echt, ja, I didn't enable it. That must be how I... Uh... Yeah, that must be how I did it. Alright, I see myself. I see you. Me. <laughs> Uh, I won't be needing that. Bottom left. Alright, so top left is power word shield. Bottom left is going to be weakened soul. Where is it? Weakened soul. Bottom right is renew. Is there anything else? I really don't think there is. Beautiful. Now I'll be able to track my weakened soul, and that's a much that's much better.
Why wouldn't they have the RDF so on? Helmon says they should. FOF says RDF was not available at the start of Wotluck. Exactly why they shouldn't have it. They added it later into Wotluck. Um, I don't worry about the questions, Pablo. I Ooh, someone just screeched in Discord. Ooh. Why is your character name Alinea? I put letters together and this is what happened. There's really no thought behind it. Um, I was like... I needed a Night Elf priest name. Because this was originally a Night Elf. Until I realized, hey... We need heroic presence. <laughs> so I just got a name that, uh, you know, sounded like a Night Elf. And there we go. Well, that's pretty much it. We're gonna be healing outside. We're gonna be taking care of Hattie Catty. Uh, Lamoth is going to be our Holy Paladin with us. Nightshade Axe is gonna be the Resto Shaman healing with us. The other tank is Palaguni. Someone got aggro. At Obby, are you gonna do TOGC tonight? No. We will not be playing uh, TOGC tonight. Uh, we did it yesterday. <sighs> it was a little bit of a mess, wasn't it? Just a little bit. Oh, poor warrior bot. It's taking some massive damage. Is this a private server, says Dream Girl? Yes, this is warming. I could really uh, use a fish feast. We're gonna go ahead and pop the flask, use this weird item. <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? And there it is. The blue crash trashing trashing racer. The crashing trashing racer. Just. Ah, beautiful. Can't recover that anymore. Didn't know private servers are alive. What's the player base? Well, Warmain says that currently we have around 24k people online on two realms at all time. Alongside with there being like 6,000 or something people on Blackrock. So there's about 30k people. A lot of people seem to think that it is a, um, a bot. But I'm not sure about that. I got uh, Glyph of Dispel Magic. I'm not quite sure about it. We'll have to see. Glyph of Penance is having the, you know, it goes from a 10 to an 8 second cooldown. That's really good for tank healing. And of course, this is mandatory. This is very debatable, but this is not. According to the website, it's 12k on this realm, but they are very likely lying about that, says FOF. I'm not sure what to believe. I hope they aren't. But it's hard to believe it sometimes. In the dead of night, when you're talking about like 5, 6 a.m. in a few hours. 12k people. It's hard to believe. Sometimes. It really is, because like, if you go and uh, go to Dalaran or Ironforge or Stormwind or Grammar. I don't know about the Horde population, but... If you go there in uh, the afternoon, there will be a lot of people. I got some screenshots that I made recently. I guess I'll show them. Because they're taking another minute to get the raid set up here. Uh, this is just Ironforge random. Oh, this is just Ironforge randomly in the day. This is like yesterday or something. And this is like a few days before that. Yes, I make thumbnails. <laughs> and like, this is a little bit later at night, right? This is 10 p.m. People are raiding at this point. It's like 20, 30 people in there. But like, sometimes it's just too fucking crowded. Just checking. Sure, why not? 
I just click this portal like an idiot. Please summon. You cannot command. Oops. <laughs> How can I skip the queue times? Yeah, it's like basically any donation amount will uh, fix it, like FOF said. How will you survive ICC raids if you switch to Frostmourne? Oh, I know, right? I'm such a noob. I can't play on like easy mode. It has to be... The officers need to talk in my ear the entire time. They need to chew it out for me. And I'm just not sure if I can cut it on Lord Alone. Like, it's gonna be so hard. So difficult. It'll be fine, man. Don't worry. <laughs> And Dream Girl says, I believe it, I see two bots in your raid. Warrior bot and Druid bot. Actually, yeah. <laughs> what the heck? Two bots in this raid. What's the lowest donation amount? Uh, what's the lowest, uh, what's the minimum amount of donation monies? So yeah, like 10 euros or... Some countries have 2 euros. But I'm not sure how that works. Tell me the names of your main tank and off tanks, says Simon Cowell, so I can DDoS. Alright, so the main tank is the Lamot, and the off tank is Raccoon. Go ahead and DDoS those people. It's like, I know you can see my smile, so you know I'm bullshitting, but like, it's still so funny to me, I don't know. <laughs> uh. They seem to be taking a minute. To get something sorted. There's fish. Let's eat fish. Any boomy or hunter can come at Helion, is what they're saying in guild chat. Or this. Oh shit! Oh shit! It's my hyperactive counterpart. You guys are about to meet him. Alright, come on, let's go. Yes, get a hunter. Get that hunter. Exactly, Gook. I'm trying to influence the Discord while I'm muted. It's not working. Dream Girl has just subscribed. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Why aren't we starting, says Igor? Uh, there seems to be some lag issues with Valimar. Uh, we're replacing real quick. Oh, how about this? No, no, no. Hyper B is not gonna be invited. Aww. What a shame. I can lock Hunter or Boomy 2 if it helps. I just wanna get the raid started. If, if someone else wants to take Disc, I don't give a shit. They can go ahead and do it. I'll do either one. A Deus Reborn as a hunter. Ah, uh, I think we're full. That's what Gook said. Oh! Alright, we got Hyper B in here in uh, alternative character capacity. Alright. Igor Sarak has just subscribed. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate it. Um, we're, we're getting him in right now. I got the, the early summon off for you. I'm really sorry about uh, the waiting, but it does happen sometimes. Uh, some, some issues can arise. Hopefully it's fixed now, and we can just get started. I will share this real quick. They'll need it eventually, at some point. Simon is gonna let the, the DDoS pass this time. He's too lazy to set up his tools. I appreciate that, Simon. I appreciate you, Simon. <laughs> we got the fish, we got the flask. Let's get started here. What healing add-ons are you using? Basically just grid one. I don't really use... Um, any healing add-ons. That's why you hang out in Darnassus. No one hangs out in the ghetto. Yeah. 
but I like the population. I've been in Iron Forge when it was just me and like five people there. You had me, the shaman, M double E, he was always chilling there. You had anyone there for a while, but there weren't many people. There's a few people from uh, the Serbian and Bulgarian guilds have been there as well for a long time. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started here. Oof. Damage. Alright. He's got this thing sorted now. Let's go uh, stand on the back leg. Alright, my dispel is on F2. Did I just damage him? I didn't mean to do that, I meant to heal. Alright. Whenever you see aggro pop up on someone, go ahead and uh, cover him with some heals. Well, your bot's gonna take damage for sure. Doesn't, they don't seem to want me to dispel. Also, the Nitro Boots, sometimes it's like really hard to see. People are so speedy, man. Oh, I didn't use PI. Well, I'm stupid. Alright, go ahead and give Huck me a shield. He can dispel himself. Uh, who's doing most damage? Gumshots. Alright, Gumshots. You're getting my PI. Oh, Best Shadow is doing a lot of damage there. I'll give my power infusion to Best Shadow from now on. Alright, give him a shield as well. I'll just shield everyone up. Go ahead and give that a little of mending. Don't really want to give it to a person with a shield, to be completely honest. Let's give it to someone without the shield. Alright, how are the orbs here? Alright, that's a good orb. Go ahead and pop the GTS. And wire bot is taking some damage there. Alright, once again, I was too late. Death Knight is taking so much damage. Oh, right, he's the tank. <laughs> uh, that makes sense. Alright, give that player to, play of mending to him. It's still gonna bounce back to us. There's a lot of damage being taken. Nerve racking, almost. We're going out here. Mm. Right, go ahead and heal him up a bit. Paligoonie, that's the H Pala, I think. No, 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 that's uh, off tank. Keep that shield on as much people as you can. Oh, Hyper Beer just got wrecked. Ah, oh, that's a misclick. Alright, I can see something that they can do. It's going to be very hard. Let's go ahead and get a tick of that him of hope. Oh. That unholy is getting fucked. Jesus. 
Was that like a damage difference? Oof. Oni is also going to be out, no? Um, let's see, Onexia is going to be out at um, the ninth month, the third patch, if you're talking about Frostmourne. I think that comes out with TOC. Let's see if I can catch up on some of these comments here. Iron Forge and Undercity are the best capital tools, yes. Sandro says, I mean that Ice Count Citadel will be available in 9 months from the start of Frostmourne. You won't be able to raid it. It will only be available. The only available things will be Naxxramas and OS. Yes, that's pretty much the gist of it. Imagine doing TOC and TOGC for 3 months though. I think after Ulduar, the server population will drop a little. And uh, after that, it'll go back up when ICC comes out. Alexandro Chircha, thank you so much for the subscription, man. I appreciate it. Uh, Darko says, where are you from? I am from Holland. Let's go ahead and check the Whisper. So yeah, I think that indeed when the TOC patch is out, people want, they'll still want to do the realms first, because Grand Crusader is a lit title. You're going to want that Grand Crusader title, right? And uh, the first three months, people are setting their characters up. You're gonna need that time to get yourself an inscriptionist, get yourself a jewel crafter, get yourself a blacksmith, you know, all these things. But eventually, you'll be you'll be done with that. Oh yeah, Hellman got in. He's whispering me right now. I'm glad he finally got in that queue, man. Push. Push. Is there a difference in say is there a difference in saying Holland and Netherlands? Holland shows national pride. And the Netherlands is really uh, business focused, you know. If I were to talk with YouTube, I would be from the Netherlands. But I'm talking with you guys. You know, I have respect for you people, of course. You know, but respect doesn't mean that I can't be comfortable and, you know, show some of that nationalistic pride. If you say that you're from the Dutch, then that's not good. Dutch people won't ever like you anymore. You gotta say you're from Holland. I'm from Holland, man. Amsterdam. Yeah. <laughs> Netherlands is the official name. Also, Holland is just a part of the Netherlands. Now, nah, Holland is the entire thing. In our definition, at, at the least, it's just the entire country. It's the the way the people always eat at 6 p.m. It's the fact that you can go to Spain and still find our fried snacks, deep fried snacks. And it's, 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 it's a beautiful country. You will sit? Okay, hold on. I gotta focus on this real quick. A little bit of an unfortunate death at the start right there. That's alright. Go ahead and give Warrior Bot a nice little shield there. Um, while you're moving through, shield the weaker people. Alright. This is fine. Now Hyper Bear's gonna probably take aggro again on at least one of them. We do still need to heal up um, to rebuff the Death Knight. I still haven't given him Priest buff. Let's see if we can take a moment here and rebuff him up. Go ahead and waste not that much mana. Cheaper spells, of course, instead of doing the full hit buff. I gave him please buff like a long time ago. It's on stream, so it's fine. He's getting bopped pretty hard, huh? Billy Balu? 
lots of damage from him. Oh shit, we're fucking hell. That was fast as fuck. I, for I once again forgot the, the power uh, infusion. Alright, let's go ahead and pop it on him then. Alright, melees. Get the get the two orbs on your shoulders, just like every other class. The warrior bot, we can shield him. We're almost out of mana, but that's fine. We'll get a lot of mana back when we go out. If we can get to 50% of his health. And then restore our mana to 100%. Technically, we should be fine. And we can always ask for an innovate. Let's just hope Savi isn't here to hear that. Ay, 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 that's a lot of damage. Our tank here. Oh, I got a stretch soon, man. You were in the queue for 12 hours? That's too much. It's too much. Dangerously low on uh, mana here. Well, that's fine. Because we've got this little combo. And check our mana. Once this uh, Shadow Fiend's gone, we'll be at 100% mana. Oh, just kidding. That only works in ICC. Oh no, somebody died. No, it's too late. The H-Pala died, and that's the uh, person dying that you heard. But yeah, that's too late. And the person in charge of that dress... He, inter he didn't respond in time. Okay, let, let's check some comments here. Imagine wiping to 11 year old content. Yeah. I don't have to imagine it, man. I'm living it. I'm living the dream. But <laughs> good seeing you again, uh, Icona. So, yeah. Is ICC gonna be released as a whole or in parts, uh, like in retail? Probably in a whole, maybe with only Lich King on Heroic not being released until a very specific time in order to promote competitive speedrunning. That would probably be smart. And Josip says, I remember one guy from the Netherlands and when I said he's from Holland, he gets kinda pissed. That's weird. Dutch people are weird anyway, man. Don't worry about it if, if, if they get pissed. We have a short fuse. We have... Uh, we feel, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, we feel like kings, basically. And it's just, it's just a good feeling. Some people are there; they, they, they bring it to the level of arrogance, though, and that's not good. In general, Dutch people aren't my favorite. I love Bulgarians, man. So such a nice peoples. If I, if I had to pick, yeah, it's happening to have been born somewhere. Something to be proud of. No, but you can have some pride in it, you know. I do think that um, the football legacy that Holland has, even though I don't really like football, I, I, I respect it. There's a lot of really good people that put a lot of time in that. And I grew up on those legends, you know. 
so of course you gotta respect it a little bit. Which pack of healing priest will be the best on a fresh frostmorn? Holy for sure. Um, discipline needs a lot of gear for uh, the mana to become kind of like useful. On top of that you're also going to need uh, lots of spell power. So it's probably, uh, probably holy will be better. Yeah, I also used to just use Holland to refer to the country as a whole, but Nord Holland and South Holland are official province names, right? I, I don't know. Are they? I thought it was just a city. city. We had city names and then like just Holland. I thought that was how we uh, handled it. There were there are the islands in the Caribbean Sea. Yes, but that's not Holland. That is um, the Dutch Indies. Oh, what are they called in, in Dutch? Uh, Suriname. I wouldn't know the uh, the English name. Okay, so is Abi from Holland, Holland, or is he just saying Holland? Tim says he's from Utrecht. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's close enough. Is your last name starting with Van? No. So Dutch people are basically Slavs. I mean, more or less. I mean, you know, I got I got the right equipment on. <laughs> We wiped six times last week at Ruby Sanctum, so no worries. Yeah, that's fine, man. I'm not worried at all. Um, I do have a fish. I got the flask. I did my priest buffs. So it should be fine. Where can I find your macros? I am thinking about making a channel in Discord with all the macros per character so that people can, you know, take their time to read them and see what they want to see. Uh, I haven't done it yet. But we'll take a look at doing that maybe on Saturday, Sunday. Maybe I'll get started on it tonight. Because this is probably the last Ruby Sanctum that I am doing. I understand that it's not like 4 hours of content, but it should be fine like that. Mm. DK Bala just said if somebody wants to disconnect, then they can say it right now. You guys want to disconnect? You want to pull an Alt F4? You want to you wanna run into the wall and pretend that we disconnected? You want to do it? <laughs> we'll do it. <laughs> um, but yeah, Alexandro, as far as macros on the Discipline Priest, there aren't many that I'm actually using. We have Prayer of Mending at Focus. But that's like, I don't, I don't even use this macro anymore. I used to use this on the tank. When I started playing Discipline Priest, it does help out if you don't really, you know, know what to do with Prayer of Mending anyway. Just drop it on the tank. We got, uh... Yeah. Basically just these two macros. We've got Divine Him is up macro, so officers know that I've used it, and that other people know that I've used it. And Him of Hope, so that people use their mana cooldowns. Because this increases your percentage of total mana. So by using an, a mana tie totem, while this Hymn of Hope buff is up, you'll be able to get a lot more mana from just the mana tie totem. So yeah. By itself, not that good. Combined with other stuff, a very strong cooldown. And it's also why I combine it with Shadow Fiend. Share this one more time. I'm sure we got someone new. Yeah. FOF says I'm kind of familiar with the prophecies since I'm studying in the South Limburg, uh, Arschen Maastricht, yes, to be precise, where they even have a dialect similar to Belgian. Dude, there are so many dialects in uh, Holland. There is actually a really good Dutch song called Het Land van. And in the song, the dude also, he raps about how uh, if you were to take a car and just drive through the highway, every 15 minutes you're gonna run into a new dialect. There's so many small, like, communities in Holland. And I never interact with them. All I do is sit in this damn chair. Okay, we're ready. There seems to be a lot of lagging and disconnecting going on. Ah. Uh, 
Hold on, this is gonna be very confusing maybe. But I need it on both of the buttons. I'll fix that later for now. Let me just do it like that. I would appreciate if he would turn it to the left a little bit. Okay, so because I have a power word shield on myself right now, my prayer of mending is not blocking. Just uh, pointing it out right there. Oof! Okay. I think uh, Hug Me has just disconnected. Oh no. Warrior bots going ham. Quickly rebuff him. No, you don't want to go in front of it. You can get a nasty cleave on yourself. Go ahead and pop the GTS. No one else seems to be popping it, so... Alright, one ball on your left, one ball on your right shoulder. Go ahead and pop that player of mending on dude. He'll be needing it with that uh, combustion. Uh, mages are very squishy. He even took it a second time, big bitch. Right. Woodbot, give him a little shield. One ball on your left shoulder, one ball on the right, and just keep it up like that. Ray of Mending, the weaker target. Go ahead and heal him up, that would have been bad if he died. Alright, go out, give him a little bit of a shield, there we go. Oh, hetty catty. Alright, we're a little bit better with mana this time around as well. That was a little bit risky. That was very close. Basically, you make sure that you can have a shield up on Hattie Cat whenever you're moving from left to right. It really does help out a lot if you time that right. See how much damage the Paladin is taking? Warrior with that shield block up? Zero damage. Zero damage, I promise you. At least for those 13 seconds of shockwave and shield wall. Uh, shield block. Can't believe our mana is still up. I kinda need to know if he has armed or not, because right now this is tight. Alright, we got the resto up. We've got the Fury Warrior up. And 
as he asked for PS. I've already given it. He's getting fucking wrecked. He is getting fucking destroyed. Like, warrior tank would not have that. You know how I shit on, like, warrior tanks when I'm playing paladin tank? This is the inverted, or the, the opposite, because this is the same situation in the other situation, right? It's just like, right now, warrior tank is the best. It should give the devil his due. We still haven't used our shadow fiend. This is insane. Are we getting innervates, like... Insane or something? Okay, so now our mana's a bit low, let's go ahead and just pop this. Oh no. That was actually so scary for a moment there. Can we please kill it 2%? Okay. Ooh, I definitely focused up a little bit there. We got Umbrage, Bracers of the Fiery Knight, and Threats of Impending Resurrection. Let's see here. Simon Cowell is detoxing you? I honestly thought I crashed when I read when I read that title. I was like checking, wait, did we crash? No. <laughs> Why is Hug Me always dying? Yo, you can give me all the shit you want, but you ain't gonna give shit to Hug Me. Th th that's off the table, alright? Hug Me is the best person ever. This is a very nice person. Mistakes do happen. Don't worry about it. I think he was lagging as well. At least that's his excuse. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Some more comments. This has been the last Obi Sanctum of tonight. I will uh, wrap it up here. Before we actually go, I'd like to see if you guys are interested in something. So let me get to Ironforge. Just stay tuned for a minute, please, if you want to. If you don't want to, of course, feel free to uh, go ahead and yeah, tune out. <laughs> I should just not say that, because that puts a negative ID in people's heads, and like, I know enough about psychology that I don't want to be saying this. But, let's see some comments here real quick. Uh, Fi Logistics says, I will put all of my guild to watch your videos, very constructive and nice explaining. Thank you, I try. <laughs> uh, luckily, Asperity also allows me to try. Uh, I've made enough mistakes that they can definitely tell me to just stream in another guild. Enough mistakes. This is the third one, WQ? Yes, exactly, FOF. Do you have a video with all the add-ons? Yep, there's one in the Discord. And the music is really, really nice here. All of the World of Warcraft ambient music. I like it. Zyrel says, oh man, no TOGC. No, tonight we spam Ruby Sanctums. That is uh, Thursday night but i want to try something else real quick don't know how long uh how long we should do this oh oh yeah that, that's fine uh yeah, yeah let's go ahead and use um invite your friends all right here we go now this is completely free to play let's hope it's accessible for everyone Go ahead and check the chat. Let's play some Scribble. This is Variety Night after all. We have to live up to standards that have been come to expect of us. So after Wrath of the Lich King, let's play some Variety Night. Let's get some people in here. Alexander is in here. Ah oh, yes. Now alright guys, we need to keep the dicks to a minimum, alright? <laughs> um, 1.7k DKP for Hattie Cat. Very nice. What are you going to do? Scribble. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and log out here. See how many people want to join. Zyro Cruz is in here. Nice. <laughs> Helmand says, I'm in a raid, come on, no. Don't worry. 
<laughs> we'll do more scribbles. Let's go for three rounds. I'm a little tired. That's fine. Draw time. Oof. Let's go for 30 seconds. You gotta be quick, guys. You gotta be quick when you draw. Language. Oh. Does this change anything? <laughs> Not right here. Alright, I'll give you guys, like, just a minute more. See if we can get 8 people. I don't know what, like, the maximum amount of people is. But, uh, yeah. Let's see. But yeah, let's get started. Alright, so variety night. Alright, guys. Let's see. If I need to draw something, you guys can totally cheat. This is not good. <laughs> Wait, I didn't think this through. Let's do this. It is variety night after all, you know. 3000 gear score is drawing now. Oh, let's see. What is this? Um, mailbox. There's a U in there. Oh no, 30 seconds is not long enough. What? Computer? Really? Damn, Zyril. You're too smart, man. Alright. Let's see another one. Uh, people can still join. So, yeah, Nikola has joined. You can go still go ahead and join. But let's see, what's this? What is that? It's, it's like, how many? Eight words? Like... Wow, how are you guys so good? <laughs> what the fuck is this thing supposed to be? I know what it is. Yes, I got it. <laughs> Everyone guessed it. I'm so good. Hola, Gregor. FOF. I'm sorry, FOF. I know. The Ruby Sanctum does look weird, but... Let's see. Joe is in here. He knew it. He knew what it was. What is this? Horizon. Uh, there's an M. 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 Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Ah! Oh, it's summer! Yes! I got it! Hots! <laughs> the Ruby Sanctum does look weird, Gregor, but it is variety night. So I hit you with a little bit of that variety spice. And there you have it. Tonight it is Scribble and Ruby Sanctum. Mostly Ruby Sanctum, but also Scribble. Alright, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 letters, alright. Oh, he's not drawing. Dude, you got only 30 seconds. You gotta hurry it up, Alexandru. This is, this gotta be fast. What? What? Yes. <laughs> yes, indeed. Shoebox! On the Nike sign! It was a Nike sign! Okay. We're gonna we're gonna make a nice little well nice little gazer here. But this is a volcano, isn't it? Alright, uh gazer has steam. Steam coming out of it. It's not a volcano, guys. It's not a fucking. It's a fucking gazer. Come on. All right, water. We put water. It's it's blue. There's ice. It's an ice gazer. Come on, it's a gazer, guys. Oh no, I suck at this. <sighs> Sorry. Dim reality is choosing a word. <laughs> Scribble is probably the best game a guild can do besides raiding. It is true, Gregor. Four letters. Um, bell. What could four letters be? Mark, raid, DPS with double S. <laughs> nope. <laughs> um, fat boy. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Fast.
What? I typed... I typed fast! Didn't I? What? Oh no, wait, I did. I guessed it right there. Wow. <laughs> wow. 3000 gear score. Let's go. Show me that 3k GS drawing. 2, 3, 5 letters. What's 5 letters? It's orange. Not cheese. Oh, come on. You can do it. Just, just draw it, you beautiful person. Yes. Yes. That's an oil company, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah. Trump. <laughs> Alright. Reddit is drawing. Stick. Yes! I got that one. I got him. I got him. <laughs> Let's go. Let's see, I think we're winning. Oh yeah, we are definitely winning, but Zyro Cruz is right in our ass right here. What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, what is this? Ring? Flask? Marriage? <laughs> what is this supposed to be? Oh! You need some paper for that shit. Yeah, I, I would have done some like lines right here, but this is good. It's good enough. Alright. Tim is joining the party and he is a pirate if them son. An Ankh? <laughs> no, no, there is no Ankhs. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven letters. What is that gonna be? What is that? It's a universe. Utility chapter from Retribution Paladin Guide. What the fuck is that? Neptune. I mean, try drawing like something, you know? Oh, this is good. But this is also good. We can make Karen. I will right, make a lighthouse. Oh, no, no. That's not the right color. Oh, shit. Just ditch the entire thing. Alright, so we got right here and there's like a bunch of C. That's not the right color again. Bunch of C, bunch of C, bunch of C. Now let's make the lighthouse. A giant light in the house. And there's water everywhere. There's like water here and stuff. Now, this is a beautiful painting, I know. 3000 gear score. He was cheating, thank you for that. <laughs> I got my points. Sorry for interrupting Scribbles, but was that the Voodoo add-on that you were using? No, it's Grid 1. Uh, Milos, that's straight up trolling. I'm... Hello! I tried! I'm, I'm not... I'm not beautiful editor. I'm not beautiful painter. Uh, swords? What is that supposed to be? Two dicks clashing against each other? <laughs> what is up with it? What is up with this? Hell no, that doesn't look like a line. I tried! I tried! Scissors! Oh, Tim got it! Alright. Crazy Tim. Zyril is like 200 points behind me here. What? No, no, Zyril got it. No, no. Scope? What is that supposed to be? Target! Yes, it's a target! I got it right, just that last second. Oof. I had to, because otherwise Zyro Cruz would have crept up on me. Alright, 3000 gear score coming in here with his final word. Let's see what he's gonna be doing. Ah, it, it's really close, man. Me and Zyro, we're... 
We're right up there. Honestly, 3000 gear score can take it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Jesus. Espress. Espresso. Hothead. Scientist. Shit. Zyro Cruz might have me here. I like this hair color. That's really cool. Dude, Zyro is above me. And it's his word? That's a really good drawing, yeah. Give that boy a like up. Alright. Three, and then a space, and then three. What is this? Ah! I know it, I know it. That's the Big Ben, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, I just said it and they all guessed it. Big coincidence? I think not. <laughs> Alright, Zyro also got some points. He's still above me, man. Shit. Five points. Fucking hell. Alexandru and uh, Big Word here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. <laughs> yeah, boops. Oh, no, no, I got no. Zyvel's gonna take this for sure. It's, Mc it's, it's uh, Mackie Donalds. Oh, no. His lead is significant. Oh, come the fuck on. This is all too easy. This is all too easy. Just come on, guys. It's blue. <laughs> it's fucking blue. Just come on. <laughs> You're sliding. You're tripping. <laughs> come on. <laughs> come on. It, it's a solid. Wait, wait. It's a solid. It's a solid. It's ice. It's a solid. Come on, guys. <laughs> Not a box! <laughs> it's a blue <laughs> for fuck's sake. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to win this now. Ah, oh, these people are terrible. You're all shit. I could have won. Ah. <laughs> oh. Alright, I think that's it for tonight. Uh thank you guys for watching. I'll go ahead and close this. We'll do this again sometimes. It's fun. It's it's nice and quick, you know. Um, yeah, let's pull that over there. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna get out of here. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Tim said rematch. Hello, I missed the first half. Someday, Tim. But for now, I beat you. Just know that. <laughs> Alright, good night, guys. Appreciate it, and you know, I'll see you on the next one.